We got some new features with the 5.42 update. And in this short video, I'm going to show you those new features. The first one is going to be in our settings. Press the middle button, go down to settings here. And then if we go into sound, scroll down, output headroom, they added two new settings. So you could do plus three decibel or you could do plus six decibel. The next one has to do with mapping controllers and being able to shift the beat grid. So what you could do is press the middle button here, modes, select our controller, press this button. And now we are in our MIDI mapping section. So I was trying to figure out if it was a knob or a button, but it is a button. So now I am going to press the button to choose which button or knob you want to map. You press that button or knob. So I'm going to press it. And now it's going to select the correct note. And then I'm going to do target deck two. And then for the action, I'm going to change the action. So I'm going to choose this button right here. And then I'm going to make it shift beat grid left. And then I'm going to use this button here and I'm going to shift beat grid right and then these bottom ones i'm going to do the downbeat so i'm going to shift downbeat left choose this one shift downbeat right make sure you press save and now i'm going to open the big waveform view so it'll be easier to see by pressing this button in and now here are our beat grids and now, as you can see, I'm using these buttons and I'm shifting the downbeat. So if the if it analyzed it wrong and you want to select a new downbeat on the fly, you could map it into your controller like that. So those are our downbeats. And then we could shift the beat grid. It moves pretty slow. You have to hold in the button, but now you could see the whole beat grid is shifting. This is really great if you like to get in depth and make sure that your tracks are analyzed correctly. And if you wanna see my full tutorial on DJ Pro for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.